Hello, my name is David Larson, the LCF group in Floyd, Virginia. And a number of people have asked me about my opinion of the recent auction of the Apple One computer at the Christie's Auction House in London, which sold for about $213,000. I've been involved with in computers since 1957 when the U.S. Navy sent me to school in St. Paul, Minnesota, to the Remington Rand Univac uh, company to learn about their large computer systems. And more recently, I've been involved since 1971, the introduction of the 4004, been involved in microcomputers and microprocessors as an educator, collector, and a teacher of microcomputers. Been very involved in many ways. Here's actually an Apple one from our personal LCF collection here in Floyd, Virginia. This is, of course, similar to the one that sold at Christie's in London. You can see this one on our uh, one of our websites. Well, what's my reaction to the sale of the, like the Apple One microcomputer at Christie's? Well, I was very surprised it sold for so much money because they've typically been selling over the last number of years between fifteen and uh, fifty thousand, more typically twenty to thirty thousand dollars. So I was certainly surprised even though it, what it does show, it shows the power of advertising and publicity that a national or international uh, organization like Christie's can generate. My understanding is that computer that was sold at Christie's is one that uh, the seller had purchased just a, about a year and a half ago for $50,000 on eBay and turned around and resold it through Christie's at $213,000. So that does show the power of advertising. And there must have been more than one bidder because there were several bidders that bid the price up. Uh, when Christie's first put the computer um, up for auction, they suggested a bid price between one hundred and forty and about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. My reaction was that that's never going to come close. So I was certainly surprised at that. As one uh, collector, Mike, has told me since the collection, he said the um, price there certainly raised the bar, and that most Apple One computers that are sold from now on would be going only to serious collectors. So that's certainly true, because what will they sell for in the future? You know, I wouldn't want to guess. All I can say is the price bar has certainly been raised by this auction, and we'll see over the next few sales where it goes. I don't know if there'll be any more sell for that price or more. We'll just have to see. Of course, the price that it sells for will depend on many things. The condition of the computer, what documents are with it, the history, and, of course, any competing buyers. Things are only worth what people are willing to sell when there's competition that certainly can move the price up. As we said, there was tremendous media attention uh, about the auction prior to the auction uh, nationwide, internationally, by most news organizations. The bloggers picked it up. It was a wonderful exposure to the uh, sale that Christie's was able to generate. In fact, even in a newspaper I get called Investor's Business Daily, there was a little, little article uh, about the auction, and I thought, well, that's rather interesting. Um, after the auction, there's also a lot of media attention. Many of the bloggers are talking about the event. Just, just lots of bloggers, lots of people talking about the event. In fact, even uh, just people that are general collectors. Here's a little article my brother sent me. Who, he's a collector of old radios and uh, memorabilia, but not computers. And in their magazine called uh, The Antique uh, Trader was this little article on the auction itself after the auction and everybody's so surprised. So there was tremendous media. One of the certainly interesting things about the auction, I understand that the owner of the Apple one that was being sold at Christie's invited Steve Wozniak to come to the auction, but Steve didn't hear about it very early. In fact, it was just a day or two before the auction, and the owner had said he would pay for a first-class ticket. So it was very interesting to hear Steve's reaction. Now, Steve Wozniak is a delightful person and a comic in his own right, and to hear him tell about his visit there is great. Um, there'll be a video um, link here on my site telling you uh, where you can look at that video, but Bruce Dammer at um, the DigiBarn did a very nice video where Steve was telling about his trip to Christie's, and you'll find that very interesting. I recommend you take a look at that video. So wrapping up, 
about the Apple One that was sold at Christie's, similar to the one we have here in the Apple One collection at the LCF Group. Bottom line is that it created a tremendous amount of interest among collectors and other people for things that uh, turned out to be very popular and a very expensive uh, sale. It raised the bar for the future sale of Apple One computers because we know there's only 30 or 40 of them in existence and so there's a very limited supply and there's obviously more bidders out there that want them because there was more than one bidder at Christie's. So thank you very much for watching our video. We certainly enjoyed uh, chatting here a little bit about the Christie's sale and Apple One computers. You have a great day. This is Dee Wallace of LCF Group. Thank you for watching this informative little video. Have a good day.